Do women have the right to preach? Somebody said the other day that we were trying to set things back 200 years, and we, we felt like that was a big mistake. We're trying to set them back 2,000 years. We want to go all the way back to Jesus and the Bible, because we don't care what society thinks. We don't believe in women ministers. My God, this is so hypocritical. Now, what's the difference with me singing in the pulpit and me teaching in the pulpit? Let's put aside our differences, and let's see who the Lord is using for such a time as this. Pick up your copy of this year's most controversial DVD film, Every Soldier Counts. If I needed to be a man to do what he's called me to do, he would have created me a male, but he chose me. My problem was more with women. I am one that believes, and I was raised to believe, that women uh, evangelists are more appropriate. Uh, I do not feel that it is to be uh, head of the church. And regardless of the reality of sexism in the church, or however men or women feel about women and men say, I can't let that hinder what God's called me to do. You know, I've seen Juanita Bynum, I've seen Joyce Myers. Obviously, they have some talent. Witness personal testimonies by some of the most prominent women in the body of Christ. You're not going to change the perception of male ministers overnight. Some of them will never change it. The same God he's serving. Uh, it's the same God we're serving. Culture should not influence church to the extent of church changing doctrine. I believe that that man does not read nor know his Bible. If a woman feels like she's called to the ministry and her denomination says uh, women aren't called, I would say she better obey God more than man. Not everyone believes that women have been called to ministry. Men and women doubt that because of what the scriptures say, that a woman should learn in silence. God uses male and female to build his kingdom. In regards to the scripture, 1 Corinthians 14 and 35, uh, where Paul spoke about women keeping silent in that particular regard, it had to do uh, basically with women speaking out of order. Either you're going to interpret scriptures literally or you and or contextually and so if in one sense you are saying that we're going to take Paul and we're going to interpret what he says about women in ministry literally then you've got to do it throughout scriptures if, if you have issues with women in the first place that scripture is very easy to embrace so let's take out a severe context and what he would have to do is go back to the Greek and the Aramaic and he'd also have to go out to the Hebrew formation of that when you look at history I mean the Bible was you know, divinely given and inspired to 70 men. You are biased in your theology. This documentary is a must-see for all Christians. Every Soldier Counts, a compelling and controversial documentary that sheds profound insight on the lives, day-to-day -day struggles, and opposition faced by women in I ministry. I did not know that there was a pro prohibition or restriction uh, to women preaching until I announced that I had been called to preach at the age of 12. And at that time, my pastor told me that uh, women did not preach. When you say what God can't do, um, that you cut yourself off from really understanding him as being sovereign. Do women have the right to preach? Pick up your copy of this year's most controversial DVD film. Order your copy of Every Soldier Counts today for just $19.95 plus shipping and handling. Call 877-882-5033 or log on to everysoldiercounts.com. Call now. Limited quantities available. I believe that God called us, not man. God is not the author of confusion. God has anointed us to do what God has called us to do. If we can go over and fight in the Iraq war, male and female, that should send a message to the church. Every soldier is not a commander. And today, it seems that everybody wants to be a commander. God bless you. We're V3, and we want the world to know. Every soldier counts.